All right, you need a term paper on Shakespeare. Nowadays, a lot of students head to the internet, not for research, but for the paper itself. So is it fair for teachers to use a web database of papers to catch cheaters? Joining us now is Andrew Smiley, a civil attorney. Andrew, my understanding is that these, uh, these teachers are able to submit papers to this database, you know, students' work, submit it to the database, and it gets checked, right? That's correct. Since the beginning of time, students have wanted to take the easy way out of doing their homework, especially when it comes to doing essays or reports. Now, what they can do is they go on the internet and they cut and paste and they can create the reports and, it, and it's easier than ever to copy. But when you're in school, that's known as plagiarism and it's wrong. And what the teachers are doing to equalize the playing field at more than 6,000 uh, institutions across 90 countries are using a service called turnitin.com. And what it is is the students then submit their papers by email to this website. The website scans the text of the paper to see if it matches anything online or in, in millions of other articles and other papers. And then it sends it to the teacher with a whole printout so the teacher can then see whether or not the student has in fact plagiarized. That's how the system works. Okay, but uh, there are a couple of students in McLean, Virginia who have sued because their teacher did just that, submitted their papers to turnitin.com they say that's, uh, that's what, a copyright violation. Yeah, and I think it's frankly quite outrageous. It's not a copyright violation. First of all, since when do high school students copyright their homework? It takes time, it takes money, it takes access to attorneys and expertise. That perhaps was done for the purpose of bringing this case. But putting that aside, it's not copyright infringement because this website is not publishing it or reproducing the works. What it's doing is it's archiving it into a database and all that's being done is the material is being scanned by this company. It doesn't go and publish it uh, for the purpose of making money or putting it in some type of book. So it's not a copyright infringement case. All right. Well, one of the students claims that uh, his paper was scanned and put into the database against his wishes, that it was never supposed to be there. Well, when you take these classes and the teacher says it's part of the class, you've got to put it into the database because that's what I require. That's how I have my paper submitted and that's how they're checked. Then you have to do it. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. And there's no uh, legal infringement in doing that either. All right. Andrew Smiley, a civil attorney. Andrew, thank you very much. Thank you.